Hello and welcome to Konkan University International College. Today we'll be telling you a little bit about uh, our international affairs and global business programs. Uh, we'll be starting with the global business program uh, and we'll start by asking uh, members of the faculty to introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about themselves. Uh, Kim. Yes. Hello everyone. Um, I'm Vajan Kim or my full name is Suvathana Sawadasuk. Uh, I'm alumni of KKU in Humanity and Social Science faculty and uh, then I finished my master degree in Australia University of Hong Kong about international business and then I have uh, some experience about uh, marketing research in Bangkok about the food company for about a uh, few years and then come back to my hometown here in Konkan to teach students in KQIC. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Chris. I uh, got a PhD in financial economics from the University of California at Santa Barbara and uh, received an MBA in international business from L'Ecole Nationale de Ponts et Chaussées in Paris. I taught in London at Imperial College for several years after that, but uh, I moved to Bangkok about 15 years ago to work as a financial analyst, and uh, I've, uh, I've worked in and out of Thailand for the last 15 years uh, in both private business and in uh, uh, continued university work. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Mark, and I have a doctorate degree in international law and international business law, an undergraduate degree in international business as well as languages, both from uh, well-known U.S. Uh, uh, universities. My life has been spent in international business, in global business, as an executive at uh, large public companies as well as small companies. So I have uh, many years of experience uh, all over the world, particularly in Asia, uh, in uh, several different aspects of business, technology and commodities and many other aspects. Okay, thank you, Mark. And my name's Peter Masters. Um, <clears throat> I have an MBA in hotel and tourism. Uh, one of my first jobs was at the United Kingdom mission to the United Nations in New York, uh, which was quite an op eye opener. After that, I went back to Australia to work in the family business, and I followed that up with um, working as an investment manager with uh, some pension funds. Uh, I moved to Thailand about nine years ago, and I worked for a few years at a university in Bangkok, and uh, very happily have come out to Konkan University International College. Okay, let's start about global business. Uh, Dr. Mark, can you describe the curriculum in global business uh, and tell us why it's the leading, one of the leading undergraduate uh, courses in Thailand? Yes, certainly. The curriculum is really unique in undergraduate curriculums because it is a highly international global curriculum, which is of keen interest to myself and many other faculty members because we are all highly internationally trained. And it's quite rare to have a curriculum like this at an undergraduate level because most of these kinds of programs are in MBA and advanced uh, doctoral studies uh, in universities. So in that respect, it's very unique. The other thing that's interesting about it is we try to combine a high uh, achievement of academic um, standards and at the same time give students uh, a real broad exposure to real life projects, case studies, and actual doing actual business which uh, is, I think, another very, very unique aspect of our program. You won't find um, a lot of programs that allow students to actually go out and succeed and make mistakes in business in real projects, and we, we try to do that, and we'll describe that more. Thanks, Mark. Uh, Chris, would you like to add something to that? Uh, I'd just like to say that uh, I've worked at uh, many uh, highly regarded universities at uh, different countries throughout the world. And in many of those universities, there's a big emphasis on research uh, conducted by faculty members. I think at, at this uh, uh, university, at KKUIC, I think we have a different kind of faculty. We have people that have real world experience and, and uh, they're bringing that into the classroom. So rather than getting uh, faculty members that are you know, sort of doing their own thing, I think the faculty here are very engaged with their students and, and pushing them in directions that I think will help them in their own futures. Mm, true. Uh, Mark, could you tell us uh, about some of the projects that you've had your students do and what you hope the students will gain from uh, the experience, et cetera, they'll gain from that? Sure. Well, first of all, I'd like to just tell a little bit about the methods that I use uh, in my lectures, which is more of a Socratic method, which is more of an American teaching style, which is that we ask the students to discover for themselves what uh, they're going to learn. It's a little bit more difficult, but once they get the hang of it, they're, they adapt incredibly well and they learn a lot more thoroughly and a lot deeper than you'd find in just a lecture only format. 
Uh, secondly, some of the real world projects that we've done uh, have been really fun and we let the students choose their projects within frameworks to make sure that they're, uh, they possess the elements of academic excellence that we want them to have. Uh, but for example, this term we had one student whose family has a very well-known famous candy company, one of the oldest in Thailand. And what we've done is design an export program. His project was to design an export program mm -hmm. to the American market. It's been a very big project and it's actually going to be working. We're going to continue it next semester and he'll be a star in his, in his family's company. So we're excited about that. We have another student who's involved in a real media project, uh, doing advertising and media uh, business. So we do a lot of these kinds of projects. We try to make them as real as possible and sometimes they are real. Okay, just I, I'd like to add to that. Um, I guess you'd saw my style is uh, more of a tutorial style. You said mm -hmm. yours is the American, I guess mine's the Australian, British way of uh, more tutorial based rather than standing at the front lecturing. I have the students uh, prepare subjects, different groups of students prepare for the subject. So they are doing the teaching at the start and then I'm directing uh, the rest of the class through asking questions and them asking questions of the students who have done the pr uh, presentation. So the students are learning from other students rather than the mindset that the lecturer is boring, so the lecture is going to be boring and not taking any notice, but that tends to work. And the project that uh, I was involved in this term uh, was actually a research project of my own, but I asked the, uh, some of the students, we had 12 of the business students, come in to assist and they became research assistants by going and uh, coming with me into Bangkok and asking tourists to complete questionnaires and uh, the feedback from the students was they gained quite a lot from that, certainly confidence and some cultural knowledge, I would say. Uh, next to Chris, sorry. Oh, I was just going to add that uh, speaking of uh, gaining confidence, one of the things that I really focus on and I focus on my entire professional life is leadership development and I really want these kids to learn how to be leaders every one of them so we encourage that all of us do give them the tools where they can emerge and, and really be leaders uh, I, I, sort of related to that uh, I think it's important that the kids not only learn things but they really learn why things work the way that they mm -hmm. do and, and it's something I always work with my kids I don't want to just tell them that you know this is the answer or this is how it's done mm -hmm. it's important to me that they understand why things are done the way that they are uh, I think that's the, the, really the key to, to uh, learning, but also getting engaged in, in, a, in a career and a, in a way of uh, you know living. Is there a particular schools that you'd like the students to, to be leaving when they graduate that have these particular schools? Well, I like them to be uh, uh, job ready when they leave, whatever mm -hmm. that means exactly. But uh, I, I want to get away just from the abstract thought to actually applied work. Mm -hmm. Where when they go into a uh, into a business, they're they're ready to, to work from day one. Mm -hmm. That involves, of course, a lot of uh, a lot of computer work, um, and the, the sorts of projects and things that you've been describing. Okay, I just wanted to mention a few words about uh, Pete. He didn't have time to introduce himself, but he is uh, a well accomplished lecturer and MBA, uh, and he joins us in the business faculty as one of our finest lecturers as well. So, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to be with us today. All right, thank you very much for coming along. And uh, thank you to everyone. I uh, hope we've told you a lot and all you need to know about global business is at KKUIC. And uh, if you have any more inquiries, uh, please go to the website and uh, contact us. Thank you very much and goodbye.